Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel AI with Ivana. Now those of you who've been following me for a while will know that I am in a process of rebranding because I used to be called Express Prince, well, or my channel used to be called Express Prince. I'm not going to go into details of why I'm rebranding my channel, but the video explaining everything is in the description. So thank you so much and let's get started. In today's video, we are looking at a highly anticipated launch of Sora by OpenAI. Um, so I woke up this morning and it was all over the YouTube. If you do follow these kind of topics, AI, um, video AI and image AI creations, then you will probably know that Sora had been released last night, if I am to be exact, if I look at the open AI. So it was released last night, December uh, 9th, 6.55 p.m. US time. So they have, <laughs> they are saying that it's the holiday gift to us. Sora is here. So I was really excited to see what it is about. Sadly, it's not available in the UK or Europe. So if I go to Sora.com, as you can see here, Sora is not yet available in the uh, UK. So if I click on it, I can learn more. And basically here are all the supported countries and of course European countries and UK is missing. I am sad because obviously, <laughs> you know, I am on the uh, plus plan. Let's actually quickly take a look at those plans and what they mean because uh, as we know, there had been a lot of announcements last week from, from OpenAI. Uh, regarding O1 chat, um, sort of like a model, which is the analyzing and thinking version. That is now $200 a month, <laughs> which is a lot. Now, my current plan is actually plus. So I actually do get some um, access to Sora video generation, but of course it's not available in the UK yet. So even if you are on the plus plan and not the pro plan at $200 a month, then you have the um, limited access to Sora video presentation uh, generation. Um, so all I can do really is to show you what amazing work other people are doing. Are they, what are they saying about it? Does it come up to all the, does it live up to the expectations that it was really expected to deliver? We were waiting for, I don't know how long has it been two years? Um, and let's see what they're saying. So I'm over at X, uh, the place where you can see, you know, news from, open AI and basically, you know, a lot of, I follow a lot of AI uh, sort of leaders, leaders in this industry. So basically this is from February the 15th. So this is the original one. Probably most of us have seen this one, right? You know, this, this is really, really lovely. Um, I don't know if they included the prompt. Okay, so the prompt for this is beautiful snowy Tokyo city is bustling. The camera moves through the bustling city street, following several people enjoying the beautiful snowy weather and shopping at nearby stores. Gorgeous Sakura petals are flying through the wind along with snowflakes. And this video is actually 17 seconds long. Uh, so other YouTubers are saying that the videos are up to 20 seconds long, so not a minute as we were expecting but yes i quite like it what do you guys think let me know in the comments but let's see what's new and what other people are creating so if i just go back so um, a user called pj ace um so his review of sora after paying 200 dollars a month is meh <laughs> sometimes it produces something great but you can get better results elsewhere so let's And that's nine seconds long. Uh, we haven't got the prompt with that one. Uh, again, guys, you know, it means that we have to learn prompting again. That's that's why I'm not too sad that at the moment we don't have it in the UK because I know, uh, you know, the first people trying this are going to be the ones learning about prompting and, you know, how to achieve the best results. So, yeah, so this is the next one. 10 seconds long.
yeah next we have oh this one so this is i think blending a uh, user on x called blaine brown still has blend option might be my favorite feature so far i wanted to see how it would handle two different shots so that's that's really something i look forward to i use this feature a lot on uh, me journey as well so this is lovely. So there's two people like jogging in a park and then this castle with the lake and then the resulting image is just, um, yeah, look at that. That's quite nice. I quite like that. So basically now they're jogging near the castle. That's lovely. And that's 12 seconds long. Then we have from image to video. Now I have seen quite a sort of like a very varied uh, reviews of this. You know, some people are saying it's not great. I think this is quite good. Um, I mean, obviously there are other video from, from image to video generators. I use Howlio. Um, I can show you some results I'm getting from there as well at the end of this video. Actually, this is not bad. Then we have these. So a member called Shalini is saying, just watch this Sora generated video. Absolutely amazing. Let's take a look. Okay, three seconds long. Um, eight seconds long, this one. So two bears are fighting. What about this? Nine seconds long. Yeah. I mean, we are getting varied results. I honestly cannot wait to try this myself. Right, what else? This horse. Four seconds long. Oh, okay, <laughs> now it's flying. Okay. Interesting. What else have we got? Uh, let's take a look. So footage of an ant navigating the inside of an ant nest provided by a member called Aditya Ramesh. Let's take a look again. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Okay, that's quite cute. <laughs> and this is quite long. Okay, it's 10 seconds. Oh. Yeah, so there's lots you can see on... Uh, <laughs> this is me watching from Europe. <laughs> you know how everyone else is playing with Sora. I feel that way as well. Yeah. This is actually three minutes long. I guess it's got a few few videos connected together at Travis this Lego. <laughs> Guys, so there's a lot and lot to see. Um, have a look on X. This is five seconds long. What are you most excited to try? Uh, this one, I think, oh, this is lovely. Look, this is getting fun. Have Sora create two variants from the same prompt and then blend them. Right, let's see. Oh my goodness, gorgeous. This is the uh, Japan Haraiku Fashion Street. Oh, this is good. This is really good. And it's also 20 seconds long. Yeah, the detail is amazing on this one, isn't it? Wow, this is really nice. Then we have this doggy. A golden retriever with a shiny red coat skillfully balances on surfboard as it rides a gentle wave at Pacific Beach. The dog's tongue hangs out in excitement and its eyes are focused on the horizon. The backdrop includes the wide expanse of the ocean with rolling waves and a clear blue sky let's have a look oh actually quite good five seconds long so this is it from sora that website again it's sora.com and um, again you can see so many different videos on the home page unfortunately it's not as i said it's not available in the uk yet and um, you know those options so you have limited generations on plus 
ChatGPT Plus and you have a lot more option with the $200 version. It's also overwhelming sometimes, isn't it? You know, the, the way AI is progressing and, uh, you know, things are changing all the time. It's so hard to keep up with it. I guess I sort of represent the older generation trying to navigate and keep up with AI. And I know from, from my own point of view that it is difficult. Uh, it's very important to take it easy, you know, take your time to understand something, um, evaluate whether we really need to learn about the tool or not. So, uh, yeah, that's a really, really fast, fast process, fast advancement in these technologies, and it's it's scary sometimes. Uh, so I use uh, Hilo, which I use for image to uh, video. As you know from my other videos, I work with Midjourney pretty much since the beginning. Uh, so I, of course, love the idea of uh, transferring the images into videos. Um, Let's just, I just want to show you a few. So this, these are my grandparents, uh, the original images here. It was, um, I've only had the uh, <laughs> sort of like a head and shoulder photo of them. It was literally a painting like in 1940s. Um, and then basically I'm going to show you uh, the external editor with me journey where I created these. So if you want to see that, please subscribe to the channel or, you know, like turn on that notification button so that you don't miss it when it comes out. It's it's going to be coming out in the next few days. Um, so the video is this and uh, <laughs> I just I just love it. Uh, let me see if I can make it bigger. Probably not. But yeah. And a uh, couple of more uh, examples. So this is a <laughs> this is the original uh, image of a friend of mine uh, that I uh, again using Midjourney's ex external editor dressed her up like a princess, and then I have created this video of her. So what I find with this particular tool that it distorts faces quite a lot. It's she doesn't look like this <laughs> when she's turning, but um, I think it's. Pretty, pretty sort of like exciting to see where we're going. And you can just imagine that at some point in time, this will be perfect, not right now. So here I have a wedding couple again, created with uh, Mid Journey, external editor. And then I have, uh, of course, <laughs> videoed them. And a couple more examples. So um, these are all image to video. I have not been uh, sort of prompting. So this is the original image again created in Midjourney. This is actually me. <laughs> so again, this was created with Midjourney's external editor where I've used my face. Again, that video tutorial is coming. And then um, again, my face is very, very distorted, but I still like it. It's It's very nice, you know. It sort of allows you to, in a way, like go back to an era um, in a way, and then you, you get to see what you would look like. But this is all, of course, you know, me journey. Me journey helped me see myself that way. So there's a few more. This is another one. <laughs> look at my smile, crazy smile, right? Um, so again, here I am a princess. So yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with me journey's external editor. Let's put it that way. Here are some rabbits. So. While I'm waiting for Sora, I'm quite happy with this. You know, it's cute. I'm not unhappy and it's free, you know. So here is another one, a bunny, and then the video, a bunny running with Christmas baubles. I forgot to give you prompts for each of these, but luckily you can see them here because I'm sharing a screen. Uh, I'm not going to show you <laughs> my sister. So this is this toddler. Um, but what I find is that the way she's running, um, she wouldn't be running at this age like this, of course, you know, she would be toddling about. So, yeah, but um, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this tool, honestly, guys. And this is uh, the one I was showing you. Again, uh, this was created with Midjourney's original uh, external editor that is available from October. Um, and this is the original image that I created with that editor. So lots and lots of fun. Okay, guys, so this is it for today's video. And uh, as I said, you know, I am rebranding the channel. So if you want to see why, um, there's a video link in the description. And uh, I hope that you still will remain subscribed going forward, where we will be exploring more AI tools, video generation, and so much more. I've got so many plans for the channel. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.